Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to the Garden Report. Celtics going to the NBA Finals. Eastern Conference champions. A new array of hardware rolled out for this year's champions. And the Celtics are the first to test out the Bob Cousy Trophy for the Eastern Conference Finals champion. And the Larry Bird Trophy for Eastern Conference MVP. Jason Tatum walks away with that award. Well deserved for his two-way contributions. Handling... Heavy pressure from the Heat's defense and continuing to keep the ball moving throughout with just enough of an active role in the offense to score what the Celtics needed to prop up their defense, which in many ways, through absences of other players, Robert Williams missing game three, Marcus Smart with an injury in that game, coming back missing game four, Al Horford in many ways became the quarterback of this defense and the steady hand that the Celtics needed to produce on that end. Game in and game out, win or loss, the Celtics had outstanding performances on the defensive end of the floor, and Al became the back line at center guarding Bam Adebayo, deterring him from going to the rim at different points in this series, getting down in that full crouch position to really get into guys, make it tough, be physical, and then get the Celtics going out in transition with those outlet passes that he throws so well. This was the ingredient of an absolutely spectacular return to Boston for Al Horford. You could tell it energized this group. It was the number one thing everyone wanted to talk about in the locker room after this game. And who was first to touch that Koozie Trophy, the Eastern Conference Finals one? Cedric Maxwell wanted to get it to the old man, Al Horford, and everyone obliged. Horford fell to the floor, said he didn't know what to do. This was him describing this moment after all this time in the league getting to the NBA Finals for the first time. <laughs> They're just, you know what I'm saying, just, just caught up, excited. Um, you know, a lot of hard work. Uh, I, I've been a, a part of a lot of great teams, a lot of great teammates, and um, and I'm so proud of this group. You know, the, these guys, you know, I've seen JB come in the league, take steps, take levels. I've seen JT the same thing. I've seen Smart grow. Um, and for me, it's just special to be with them and, be, and being able to help them and be a part of this. So I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful to be in this position. Nobody deserves it more than this guy on my right right here, man. Just the, his energy, his demeanor, coming in every day, being a professional, taking care of his body, being a leader. Um, I'm proud to be able to, to share this moment with, you know, a veteran, a mentor, a, a brother, a guy like Al Horford, man. He's been great all season, really my whole career. So um, I'm happy to be able to share this moment with somebody like him. Now, we all know the story. We can all recount it again and again. Al leaving Boston for the big money, $130 million in Philadelphia. That Celtics team disbanding at that point. Leaning on its younger players from that moment on. Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum took the reins with a short stint from Kemba Walker to help them transition. Gordon Hayward leaves so shortly after. And this team that we thought was going to play the Warriors in 2018, 2019 with those powerhouse squads could have been two of the most packed rosters ever going at it during those years they couldn't get it done and the Celtics had to reshape around a new core Horford's in Philadelphia for the first year that they're going through that bubble run they actually beat him in the first round second year they crumble and just didn't get much of anything done in 2021 thin group injuries plagued them and Al Horford looking back one year ago at his time in Oklahoma City not even playing one year ago. Well before this, he took a seat in Oklahoma City, and that's what set the stage for recovery, getting fresh, getting his knees right, his back right, and coming into this year rejuvenate in the, some of the best shape of his life, and in a system that favored defense, which is where he makes his money, that end of the floor, working immensely hard and being a steady hand. I asked Emi Odoka after the game, what worked this season for Horford as a leader? Regarding Al, <clears throat> it's incredible what he's done all season. Uh, as I mentioned, came into training camp in extremely great shape, uh, chip on the shoulder, prideful, wanted to come back to Boston and, you know, for him to play 44 minutes, you know, at this stage of his career and lay it all out there, guarding big, smalls and everything in between. Um, you know, his leadership goes without saying. A vocal, a vocal guy, but uh, does a lot by example, and I think everybody kind of ties into him. 
It's that steadiness. It is. Not a stats guy. Not a guy who's going to rack it up, although he did save the Celtics' life in round two against Milwaukee with that 30-point performance, overpowering Giannis on a dunk that sparked the Celtics' comeback to even the series. An important moment given that the Celtics lost game five before the 2-3 comeback in that series. So Horford tailed off a little bit in the series offensively after that point. Wasn't scoring, wasn't giving them the shooting that he did in round two. But defensively, a rock. Night in, night out, logging heavy minutes, recovering quickly, playing each, every other night. You just can't say enough, and you don't want to overstate the impact of a role guy. But this one, intangibly, felt like it changed this group. The professionalism off the floor, leading by example, giving this group a North Star sort of to follow and rally around when things got tough. And Horford, speaking after the game, uh, was confident throughout much of that midway point in the season when this team was really in a bad spot. Uh, said they just needed to stay the course, stay together, and they built all the little, little habits. Things defensively and offensively when it comes to ball movement that Horford preaches and plays out on the court. All of those started to become attributes that we attributed with the better version of this team this year. All the activity offensively, sharing the ball, trusting each other, making the extra pass. Those are things that Horford's done for his whole career. And then the commitment defensively to guard every position, switch effectively, finish plays out, and be aggressive, forcing mistakes on the other side. Those are the two things that define the Celtics team as they return to the NBA Finals here. And that move, getting off of Kemba Walker, bringing Al Horford in, it's going to be talked about for a long time. And in many ways, this is the beginning of Horford being associated as one of the great Celtics, coming here, changing the culture, signing in free agency is the biggest talent that this team has ever gotten on the open market, and making this his home. And a fan base that fell for him, fell for his family, and just built something here. Seeing Smart grow is something Horford talked about after the game. Brown and Tatum becoming the players that they are now. These are things that Horford facilitated years ago and came back to Boston to bring full circle. And now this group is heading back to the NBA, or heading to the NBA Finals for the first time. Every player on this team, zero finals appearances between them. Now they can all say they have one. We're brought to you by com, com.com slash garden, 40% off a premium subscription. Go get that for sleep, help, meditation, and more. And HelloFresh, hellofresh.com slash playoff 16, 16 free meals, three free gifts. From Miami, Celtics, 196 winners over the Heat. Al Horford heading to the NBA Finals. We'll have more coverage on Celtics All Access. CLNS Media with Warriors Celtics ahead. A quick preview of that to come.